Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna be uh, doing like a BIOS update thing and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I'm gonna update my old BIOS to the new one and see how this works. Okay, I'll show you guys how to do it. Okay, first I need the BIOS to download. What I gotta do is open up whatever, uh, and then type open up whatever. I, I, I open up Firefox, so I'll type in a, a kind of motherboard. <coughs> oh, first, let's check what motherboard I have. So, what I need to do is open up CPU ZID. And that will tell me the motherboard I have. <coughs> Excuse me. After this opens up, make sure you install this CPU ZID on your computer. You're gonna go to main board. And this is basically the model and the name of the manufacturer. So what I want to check out is the, the model. And this is the version right here. This is... It's a Prime Z370P. The version is a 0610. So we're gonna look that up. So let's go type in Prime. Z370P. And then I'll put in BIOS at the end of it. So this should pop up, and then I gotta go to this first one. And then we'll see a list here. So this is what we're looking for, BIOS, BIOS and firmware. And this is the latest one, the one that we saw was like 2018. And this one is 2019 version 2401. Check serial downloads, and then what I want to do is choose the the latest one so this is July 4 May 16 April so so this is the latest one July 18 so we're, we'll download that save yeah save file and then we'll open it right here then click open that after I downloaded so what I'm gonna do is uh, so this is the file we're looking for I'm gonna put that over here so Z I'm gonna also extract that file here So here it is. So what I, I want to do is uh, I can either do it on this or do it on the boot. <coughs> but what I want to <coughs> excuse me. What I'm gonna try to do is do it on this. You can do it on a flash or you can just do it here. But we'll do it here. Okay, so first before I do anything else, I want to disable the this, so it's already disabled. Disable permanently, yes, because I don't want it that interfering with anything. Okay, so now that that's disabled, I'm gonna put this on a. Oh shit. Okay, so what I need to do is uh. Grab me a USB USB container like this for storage, and then I'm gonna transfer this file into this. So let's go back to the behind this computer, and I'm gonna find a place to put it in. So what I'm gonna do is remove one of my USB, this one, and then put the USB in its place <laughs> oh 
at least for now, you know, until I installed it. This is where I'm going to be putting it. Oops, there we go. I did this lit up. It's working. Let's go back here. And let's open up that thing I just opened. Let's go to... It's this one right here. So what I'm gonna do, that's the USB I plugged in the back. So what I'm gonna do is put this file in right here and drag that when I download it here. And then we'll delete these two. Delete. And then we're gonna use this to boot up the we're gonna restart the computer and put it on the bio settings. Alright, shut this down. What I'm gonna do is uh, restart the computer. Go down here and then restart. So what, what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to press delete on this or F2 which doesn't matter which one. I'm going to tap on delete. That will, you know, that way when the BIOS, I can go to the BIOS here. Just keep tapping delete. D-E-L. So see that right there on the bottom please press delete or F2 to enter UFI BIOS so I'm just gonna keep tapping delete and then it should show okay here we go so what I want to do now is uh, look for the the boot we're gonna go to the boot menu no not that one okay so once the screen shows up what we want to do is go to the advanced mode and then we're gonna search for the tool right there tool choose that and then we're gonna choose the ASUS Easy Flash 3 utility so we have two options here Easy 3 Easy Flash 3 update please select the BIOS update method we can either do the flash or the USB by storage or the via internet so it seems I already downloaded it on the USB I plugged on the back of the computer. I'm gonna choose this. And then next. So we're gonna find that file I just put in there. So storage. Is it using the right storage? Okay, here it is. I chose the FS6 3, 3897 megabytes. And then we're gonna choose the right one, which is this one Prime Z370P Asus 241.cap. Then I'm gonna use Easy Flash to read the file. And then yes so do you want to update the BIOS model C370P version 2401 that's the newer version 715 2019 and then click yes so what you want to do is wait for this processing to finish you don't want to interfere with that or stop it because it's gonna mess it's gonna break your motherboard and I'm gonna have to restart it Basically, you know, I have to restart the motherboard again. Or, what do you call that? Some motherboards don't have that option, so it's a little, you know, a little dangerous because it'll permanently damage your motherboard. It'll no longer be usable. So, you just want to be patient with this. 
and wait for the progress bar to reach the end. Some of these will take a while, like maybe a minute or two, but some take five minutes. It just depends on how powerful or you know advanced your computer is. But if you have the mo most modern computers, it shouldn't take long. See, mine's already almost halfway. So you know, just make sure that you choose whatever your whatever BIOS to download it. You can e even use a internet like the one, but this is more secure because it's on a flash. So you, just in case you did get disconnected from the internet, you wouldn't have to worry about it. So this is the so this is the newer version of this. The older version is 2018, so this is much newer. <coughs> so it's already halfway there. So once this is done, it's gonna tell us to, or it's gonna tell me to restart or reboot the computer. So you know you want to be patient with this. So the the older version is right here. Prime Z three seventy P zero six one zero version, and that's this is the the older version of the January 11, 2018 of the BIOS. So the newer BIOS is. 2019. I know you, you can do this at your own risk, but you don't want to do this if you're afraid. But I'm only doing this because of a glitch, because you know I keep getting glitches, and maybe I was hoping maybe this might help with the screen of, blue screen of death I keep getting. You know, but I wouldn't do this if you know you're not very certain what to do. So I wouldn't recommend doing this. It's way too risky, you know. You could break your motherboard and that wouldn't be good. You're gonna be forced to buy a new computer pretty much. You I can salvage the old, old, older parts and get a new motherboard, but yeah, if you mess this up, it's not gonna be good for your computer. It's permanently damaged and you might have to get a new one. So yeah, it's almost done, see. That that didn't take yeah, that didn't take that long. It's almost there and then it'll tell us update successfully. System will be reset. And then click OK. So we just wait for it to reboot. And still working. Just wait for it. So yeah, you know, if you have a newer computer and it can handle this kind of abuse, you know, that's the whole point. So it rebooted twice, it shut down again, that's normal. It's part of the, you know, power cycling process. It's just trying to cycle through it and uh, it's doing its thing. It's updating, doing a shutdown research system to prevent system boot up failure. So I just wait for it. <coughs> ME is updating. So this booting thing you don't have to worry about losing your files because it's not part of the operating system like if you have Windows 10 and you got files in it like pictures or videos it's no problem as long as you follow the steps I did. Yeah. So you know it's what 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 it is doing is updating the BIOS which is the basic uh, you know, well, I forgot what BIOS stands for. Inside out, what is it? Software. <clears throat> In out software. So see, it started again. And that should be it. We're gonna go inside, and this should be the newest one. And now we we'll see it's doing its thing, checking. So now we got the newest version, 2401, right there. BIOS revision 2401. Intel Core, total memory, blah blah, it's checking all the data. Please enter setup to recover by setting. After setting up Intel Optane memory, the RAID configurator was built. Press most select, must be changed to remote, avoid unknown issues. Press F1. So 
So we're gonna check what we gotta, you know, the settings that we had. Basically, I just gotta put it back to how it was. I'm gonna put it back to turbo, cause that's where my fan was. And then <coughs> go escape. So everything should be fine. So it's reading everything. Got the Samsung. So this is this way. This new update will enable you to if you wanted to. To replace the CPU with a newer one like let's say if I want to remove the i7 8700k this one right here if I replace that with an i7 99 or 9700k a newer one I 97 I would basically because I only got six cores and the newer CPU 9700k has eight cores if I replace that you know it, it'll be able to handle it because of the new York newer bios and that's basically what I why I did that so you know once you're done you just hit F10 or click on this so everything is fine seems to be working so advanced mode from version so that's the fam firmware we updated Oops. go back to easy mode okay we're good so I'm just gonna save and exit Turbo, sure. It's gonna re reset again once you've set it up. You know, if you have like, if you're using something like 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 it says an Optane, I don't have the Optane memory installed on this, so I don't have to worry about that. Also, don't have the M.2. I pretty much only have an SS, the newer SSD I installed, but. I'm just hoping that this will fix the any problems I had with the you know blue screen of death but I highly doubt it is. If if I keep having that problem I'll probably just have to reinstall Windows 10, wipe everything out and just back up all my data on a external hard drive. So there we go. There we go, it's working fine. Alright, hope you guys learned that's how you up update your BIOS. Oh yeah, make sure you remove the flash because you don't need that anymore. So I just gotta eject this. And that one. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the flash drive we just used, which had the BIOS. There we go. No problem. So yeah, this is useful. You don't need that much big, maybe have a 4 gigabyte or 8 gigabyte at the most to hold that kind of stuff like the BIOS. Alright, that's it. Till next time.